dickheads, sunglasses adorned, selfie stick at face, can only mean one thing, some good old fashioned car spotting. Woohoo! So it's a, it's a crisp, it's lovely, it's a lovely spring morning. What time is it? It's 10, 17 a.m. of a Sunday morning in Dublin. Um, a little bit cloudy, just, just some blue sky peeping through. Um, it's probably a little bit too early in the year for all the fancy exotic stuff to be brought out of their uh, hibernation. But uh, we'll go for a wander and see what we see, shall we? Nothing venture, nothing gained. Come on. <laughs> well, hello there. Red braces and cocaine lunches. Wonderful. Oh, it's very, very recently. You could have got yourself into a, a first gen Cayman for 15 or less even. Last I looked, 25 grand for a manual one and it was sold and it was the only one for sale. Oh, sad times. It's a diesel, but come on, you can't hate that. It's even an estate. Look at it. K11 and a Mark 1 Focus estate. Oh, the ladies out this morning. Oh, sport car. Don't know if those are the standard wheels. They look a bit big, but fuck it. What a thing. Give it to me. I should probably add um, the fact that I, I had a rather large burrito last night. It was delicious. Um, what I'm trying to say is if we're interrupted by uh, some rather loud flatulence, I do apologise. Irish registered uh, second gen. It's got a superb manual, which is lovely. I think they're a lovely car. But uh, it's left hand drive. Yes, yes, all day, yes. And I even like the way they look. No, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I like the batshit crazy Japanese styling. I think it's fucking brilliant. And you just know it's gonna be great to drive. Yes. This poor Jag XJ has been sitting up here for, oh, I don't know, five, six years. The thing is, it looks like it isn't far away from being salvageable. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna do it, and the underneath is probably crusty as fuck, but what a lovely thing. Two hundred P. What? Yeah. Like that Jag XJ a few minutes ago. Um, I don't think this has moved in quite some time, but my God, they're so achingly cool. Sweet red steelies, bro. Yup. No boring colours. Terrible car though. Not gonna lie, I like these. I'll see. This is a diesel one. I prefer one from the green pump, but I would. I really would. Oh, be still. My love for the E39 is well documented, but just look at it. Yum, 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 yum. Absolutely perfect. I know the 996 is still considered probably the least favorite of the, the 911s, but I absolutely would. This is an early one too, 98. Just a regular old Carrera, but it's a manual with tan leather. Oh, absolutely perfect with the 17 inch, really, twists. 205, 50, 17. Perfect. I don't want to say this was an abandoned 95 due to the uh, broken bits of trim and lacquer peel and missing aerial. Um, but it is taxed and, taxed and insured and what well, the test is just out. I think my favorite thing about it is these tires. Um, best drive, best drive summer. You drive, we care. Mm. Green E30 cab or rather lovely NB. Again, a car that was 1500 quid a couple of years ago. Now you're looking at five grand at least. Shark attack. Um, I think I prefer some BBS over the Alpina wheels, but uh, oh, uh, lovely nonetheless. Huh? So handsome. Oh, baby, come on. The sun is trying. We want you. Come, come to us. Automatic E30, but it is a six pot, so we'll allow it. Yum, yum, yum. Roll on, summer. I'll fight anyone who says the 75 isn't cool. It's a manual 75, too. It's the facelift, which isn't as cool as the original, but come on. Oh, fuck yes. E12 5 Series. Look at that rear mounted fuel cap. What a color is that. Beautiful left hand drive with the manual. Spectacular yellow headlights. Man, that is cool. Spot of the day so far, I think. Bleeding rabble. 
V12 saloon kind of car. I don't think we'll ever see them again. What a cool thing. Everyone has time in their life for a W124, don't they? Of course they do. The big boy until the M2 comes along. But Jesus, after seeing all those old BMWs, that is an absolute fucking dog's dinner of a thing. Jesus. The front's not terrible, but that rear. Ugh. Look at all the raw performance. Wind tunnel hound aerodynamics. And that tow hitch, it's not for towing anything, it's for a weight to keep the rear end down. And a Lantra, huh? Hyundai have come a long way. Nothing says build quality like a bit of mask and tape. Oh, bellissimo. Brand new Giulia Veloce. What are they, 280 brake, rear wheel drive. That's a fucking good looking car. Another E30 cab. Lovely shade of green. Three, 320, six cylinders, manual. Yeah, I'd prefer a hard top, but wouldn't say no. Nothing overly special about a, a Monte Carlo Fabia. Nice little things, but check out them mud flaps. Now they are cool. Ooh, another 75. Free facelift this time. Come on. It wouldn't be a car spotting adventure if we didn't frequent the alley of our favorite overpriced classic car dealership. So let's see what we will find, hey? Mm. The E36 cab um, on some Lorenzer wheels. They're Lorenzers, aren't they? Uh, it's very 90s rude boy, isn't it? Uh, T25 on some, some classic domes and white walls. Needs a bit of TLC, but ah, they're cool, aren't they? Proper G as well. Old school, straight six petrol, short wheelbase. That's how you do it. None of this AMG modern flim flam. 500 SL or 129. Yep. And an XJ40 generation Jag XJ. Um, which you have to assume if it survived this long, it's probably not going to explode. Imagine buying an executive saloon these days with the uh, hub caps. Oh, they are quite nice hub caps, I must say. Of course, it wouldn't be an 80s Jag without uh, some rust. Focus sanitary tail. Don't come at me now for that use of that term. Um, I'm merely quoting Senior Clarkson. Forever and always in my heart. A car that generally I wouldn't give a shit about, but this particular one, it's daily driven, it's taxed and tested, it's in an absolute rag order, but all the better for it. First gen R8. Is it a manual? It is. Yes. Yes, I would. Yeah. Don't really need to say anything, do we? Quite party. God, they're so fucking cool. So fucking cool. Break my heart, I know, but like, the best ones do. It's really taking the old uh, fake M badge thing to a new level. Do love a 6 Series Grand Coupe. Um, this one's a bit of a identity crisis. Fuck the 3D plates for starters. But um, Alpina wheels and has Alpina plates around. Um, but then it also has M badges on the side. Um, it's still a lovely thing though. Fuck the regulations, bring back pop-up headlights. This poor thing hasn't moved in ages. That's covered in fucking construction dust. Someone needs to save this ASAP. Should be me, but it won't be me. Ferrari Espanol. Uh, don't think I have a 4 spider, but um, it's my spec. Little red Corvette, or orange maybe. And uh, this weird fucking Kia pickup thing. Um, there's something else in this compound, which is mostly Fiat 500s. We've got ourselves a caddy. How long can I stand here before you reckon he tells me to move? It has a little beep sign as well to try and get you to stop from standing beside it. But I'm gonna do my part. Uh, you can't help but love it, can you? I love those steel wheels, and what a colour. Not it's the LCV, but the passenger one's fucking tiny in the back anyway, so this will do just fine. Which 25, 22, 450? It's not bad. Also, much love for this. All right, we'll wrap it up there. Not a bad old day. Um, didn't see anything particularly exotic. We saw an R8, first generation, a few porkers, 
Um, so I think that E12 fly series is probably the spot of the day. Um, but if you did watch this, thanks for watching. Um, be safe, be well. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. The rear end down due to the speed. Shut up, bells.